Ooh, what's going on y'all so today we are going to be using the team that i brought to charlotte regionals so um i ultimately felt good about my charlotte regionals run unfortunately i did go four five which is really not a good performance um i was four two and then i lost my last three rounds which is really unfortunate um, I won't be posting or like talking too in depth about my run in this video. Maybe if we use this team in two videos, I'll do a, a bit of a discussion about it in the next video or something. But I mean, ultimately, what happened was there was two matchups throughout the day that I just couldn't have won at all, and that was um, in round one I faced Eric Stewart, who ended up going 9-0 in day one and getting top eight in the regionals and that was because he had a gargantical team and for some reason I built a team that is really bad at dealing with gargantical <laughs> round two I faced another gargantical but it wasn't a ghost terror so I beat it but so I, I pretty much had an auto loss to Eric and then later I faced um I can't think of his name because he has like a, a Indian name, but um, he had Lola Cole and I just couldn't do anything about it. So that was another auto loss and the other ones I kind of had to play around, but I was already 4-2 at the point of the Lola Cole loss because the Lola Cole loss was my round 7 and then uh, round 8 and 9 I guess just kind of fell apart unfortunately, but it was, a, it was ultimately a good a good day and you know it was a really fun event so talking about the team we have the grass terra citrus berry iron hands with sword stamp um i really liked this 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 felt like it was really nice to have a lot of the time um iron hands would like get burnt and then i would just click sword dance once and i'm still okay oh, flutter mains that aren't bulky uh, a lot of flutter mains are bulky now, but, uh, you know, with, with Swords Dance, you really mitigate any burn, and it's, even if you don't get burned, that's even better, right? So, it's been great. Uh, the Dark Terra Amoongus with Covert Cloak, Clear Smog, Spore Protect, Rage Powder. I, it would have been nice to have Palm Puff sometimes, but being able to protect is really nice, and Clear Smog in case there was Don Dozos. Which, unfortunately, there was not. <laughs> um, Dark Terra was supposed to be for Arm Rogues. There was not Arm Rogues. Uh, at least not that I faced. So, uh, well, the Lilical Arm Rogue team wrecked me, so. Uh, the Safety Goggles armor are RK9 with Water Terra, Flare Blitz, Will Witch, Snarl Protect. Pretty standard. Um, mine is not very bulky. It hits really hard. It can do things like Oko Flutter Mains. Uh, that again are not bulky and uh, Kinoko, Gold Dangos, things like that. We have the Focus Sash Flutter Main with D Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Prison Trick Room. I really would have liked to have Protect. Um, I think in Protect over in Prison in this case would have been nice, but you know, it's just you never know what you're gonna face. And I didn't face any Trick Room. I didn't face any Don Dozo, I didn't face any Mal Save. The, the the format was honestly very centralized around the type of team that I'm using. Uh, except like without Sylveon and Garchomp. So um Sylveon with Flying Terra with uh, the standard set I thought paired really well with Choice Scarf Garchomp with Steel Terra. Uh, the Steel Terra is more defensive Terra, but you know, if you can, sometimes you're going to click Earthquake plus Flying Terra. And that can deal with, uh, that deals with mouse hate. Um, if you're going up against Flutter Bundle, you click Steel Terra, and you can click Iron Head into Flutter Main and, uh, Quick Attack if it's Sash or Hyper Voice if you just want to do massive damage. And, uh, that's, that's usually the way to go is to click Iron Head Hyper Voice. And then versus Talon Tusk, you just click Rock Slide Hyper Voice. So, yeah, I mean, we've got quite a few situations that things work really well. And, uh, 
yeah, I, I mean, it was it was fun. Like, I felt good about it. It just didn't go my way, unfortunately. <laughs> but thank you guys for, for tuning in. Thank you for whoever supports me. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Consider liking and subscribing if you're not. <laughs> Hopefully we find someone quick. Cool. Okay. I don't love that. Um, they do have a lot of things that I feel like this lead is good against. And we are gonna have to be careful about the the, the annihilate. So, I think we need to bring this in the back, and we could potentially be just like setting up Trick Room right away. Like that's that's actually not a terrible way to deal with this. Um, I gotta think, cause I actually might be able to just sweep them under Trick Room. So, something we can try doing is going like this and then in the back we would have to bring Hans Hans oh, this sucks it's very situational um how about this for you guys we're gonna do it We're gonna see what happens if we leave the Garchomp Sylveon lead. But I do think that there's a there's a definite possibility that Well it would have been Iron Hands and Trick Room, right? They leave all large to in a That's a little scary. Um little scary um I kind of want to do the hyper voice and earthquake play but I don't know how far it gets me really so if we see them fire Terra they have ghost Terra ugh okay so Huh. I don't know what to think about that. A critical hit. Uh oh. <laughs> this this could be a little scary. I have no clue what's about to happen. Please target Garchomp. Thank you. You've done your service, sir. So next turn, we just bring out Amoongus and we click Rage Powder Hyper Voice. Or Spore. I mean, it, it, obviously it depends, right? But what should happen is... What should happen is we Oko something... with Hyper Voice and then we click Quick Attack next turn. Yeah, so they bring out Bundle and exactly. So 
What that basically means is I just click Rage Powder and Hyper Voice again because it's going to do a lot. So we click Hyper Voice and we click Rage Powder. Like, they should click Icy Wind and Dazzling Gleam or something like that. That's smart. It doesn't win them the game, but it is smart. So we click Hyper Voice, and we click Rage Powder again. So they should click Icy Wind and D Gleam or something, but it just doesn't win them the game. So we'll one shot the bundle, and then we click Quick Attack, and we win. So. Pretty clean game. Thank you. Yeah, so I mean that play just auto wins me the game. They, I mean, this person doesn't see that, but yeah, I just I just win. So pretty pretty clean set we've got here. I could have done the trick room, but we didn't need it. <laughs> so that's nice. They got rid of Amoongus, good job. Life Orb Flut. And we give them the flying carry glass. What happens? <laughs> I could have brought out Iron Hands. I don't think it was the right play, right? Like, if I bring out Iron Hands in that case, it leaves um, it leaves me too vulnerable to a double target, right? Like, especially after turning into a a Ice type. Or I mean, I'm just something weak to a nice type. So bringing Amoongus was definitely crucial. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> You've got Dondozo, Claude Sire, and Driftblim. So, this makes Sylveon a little bit worse, right? Because they have a lot of things that can deal with Sylveon, but at the same time I think Sylveon looks like a really good lead here. So I actually think we might just lead Sylveon. Um, I'm wondering if Sylveon Fluttermane could be a good lead here with hmm. I think Sylveon Arcanine with this and this because we need the clear smog and the spore um Love to see though how this goes. Yeah, so that's kind of what I was expecting. So they'll have a uh, psychic seed on burden. Which is fine. It's a little bit worse if they start doing baton pass stuff. Like like 
like minimize baton pass, right? Like that could be really annoying. Um, I kind of want to flare blitz this turn. I know I could. I know I could. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I, I did what I did because I don't want to deal with that. Are you serious, dude? Like we're, this is what we're gonna deal with? Okay, so that's great. The annoying thing about it is that they can continue to set up. And if I had hit that Flare Blitz, this would be a completely different game. Of course we're gonna miss. Click Hyper Voice again, we click Snarl again. This is rough. Like, bro, I clicked minimize three times and then missed everything. And this man's over here. She's being annoying. So we know that they have to bring out Tatsugiri next turn basically, and then they'll click like minimize and or, I mean they'll click substitute and or minimize. So they'll bring out Tatsu. I want to see if they have, um, I kind of want to will-o-wisp that slot right now. But I don't know, I don't know if they're gonna try to set up a sub first is the thing. We'll see. This is gonna be annoying, but like, we're gonna try to find a win con, right? Don't know what I want to do first, like between. Just go for the freaking players. Still beyond lives. Yes! Forget you. Okay, so we spore. They should set up a sub. 
Yep. So I'm gonna have to think here. Um. I kind of want to, hmm. I kind of want to click Rage Powder and Hyper Voice. What hyper voice goes through substitute? <laughs> silly bellies, these silly bellies. Okay, let's click rage powder. Let's click hyper voice again. Pretty sure we still have all our Pokemon to right, like so. This is not bad for us. We click Rage Potter again. We click. Should I waste my Terra right now on Hyper Voice? Um, or I mean, do we click Rage Powder? Flying Terra Terra Blast. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried that it could lose us the game, but I... Yeah. EQ. Order up. Okay. So my play definitely can lose me the game, unfortunately. Um, we're gonna have to see what they do, because we know they should have spread moves is the thing, right? Like, we know they should have icy wind. So, I'm wondering who I should spore right now. Um, I kind of want to spore here. Or no, no, um, I kind of want to spore here and just click protect. They might click acrobatics though is the only thing. So I think I did throw. So at this point I think if we click rage powder and hyper voice we can start getting in a better position, right? Like... We have to bring out Arcanine. Oh, and then that's their last Pokemon. Okay, cool. So we click Flare Blitz, we click Hyper Voice. 
and we hit the flare blitz. Nice. <laughs> Jesus, man. So, like, just ridiculous. <laughs> It worked ultimately right like hitting the clear smog was really important nice a believer <laughs> unfortunately they have garganical which means we probably lose hmm so tinkaton is a faster fake out than me which is something we need to be uh, wary of right I feel like I feel like Sylveon is not a bad lead here, right? Like, I could just lead Sylveon and Mushroom with Han, because we actually will ultimately need that to deal with Garganical if we're in a bad position. And then, I don't know if I think Fluttermane or Garchomp is better. I'm kind of leaning towards the flood right now, but I know Garchomp can do meaningful damage, right? Um, and it also is really good against Sylveon, which we might actually need, so we'll see. This is the Garg, and I thought that Garg is really hard for my team if I don't like play perfectly, so it's basically like I need to whittle it down as well as I can without it being able to recover. So they're going to lead Iron Hands and Sylveon, we lead Sylveon and Moongus, uh, that's fine, right? So I honestly think I just want to click Hyper Voice and Spore here. Um, I'm gonna spore their Sylveon because I can. Or I spore the hands. And then next turn, I can spore Sylveon for free. This is really dependent on their Terra style though. Unfortunately, I did not have to spore the hands and I should have spored the Sylveon. However, we're gonna click Hyper Voice. We have to click Hyper Voice, that's right. This sucks. This sucks. I made a really I made a huge misplay by by not sporing their Sylveon. they protect that's bad so I like I really wanted them to protect that turn I should have I I should have just um spored them so again I made another misplay right there 
our hyper voice goes first we also put them in quick attack range which is really important on it we click quick attack and fake out okay. so we got rid of that This is not perfect though, like, we're actually in a kind of rough position here. So what I want to do right now is I want to Terra Blast the Bonnet and Drain Punch the, the Bonnet. I think we- oh wait. So I almost forgot that they already tear it, so we probably win, right? Like Yeah. So we we get rid of the brute bonnet here, and because they already tear it, we just win, so. Get a big dream punch. And they salt cure the guard. But at this point, I'm not going to give them the chance to get out of it, so... So they bring us down to 70. They would need three protects to get out of this, so... We just click uh, Terra Blast and Drain Punch again. Really slow Brute Bonnet. Um, yeah. So they would need three protects and then I just bring out Garchomp and I click Stomping Tantrum and and Hyper Terror Voice Blast. <laughs> yeah, so GG's. You have to go for the double. They don't, so GG's. Terror Blast just one shot <laughs> Nice, so that was a clean set. Uh, I think it really showed what Sylveon can do. I mean, we, we didn't even have to use Garchomp that much in this one. Uh, we did, I guess, use it in game one, right? And there was ways that it was really useful in the other games. Or at least in this game, if we got in a bad position with Sylveon. Uh, but ultimately, the the position that I put them in was really important and so was that one extra HP investment <laughs> so that so that we lived the hyper voice so yeah that was nice I felt like I could have played the third game a little bit better but ultimately you know we did what we had to do we had ourselves a really clean set and I think you guys can definitely see um you can just see like the potential that this team has right like even with me making a few misplays I was able to like very quickly reposition into a way that was like oh well I mean what do they do now like <laughs> you know so great stuff hope you guys enjoyed please do consider giving a like and sub uh, sub sub if you're not already and we appreciate you so yeah try the team please let me know what you thought of it and until next time uh you know i know we do only have a few days left of series two but try it and have a good one y'all